Hey y'all, and welcome to another episode of Total It's Alright. Total It's Alright. It's Total It's Alright. It's Total It's Alright. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tori. And yes, I laugh every time I do that because it's so obnoxious. How can you not? How can you not laugh? Okay. So anyways, today I did a very simplistic, easy to do uh, Valentine's Day makeup look. And when I say simplistic and easy, I mean that it's not hard to follow. There's not, you don't need a whole lot of skill, to be quite honest. You just got to be good at blending. And then um, it, if I had not been talking through this video and not filming, obviously, it would take me all of maybe like 10 minutes to do this. It's not a very long process to get this face, which I really liked. I wanted to do something that would be really easy, but still kind of have like a little bit of fun and pizzazz and like a pop. So it's like not everyday makeup, but it would still be easy enough that, you know, if you're someone that doesn't really know a lot about makeup, you could do, or if you have no time, you could do it. Like I know people have busy lives and Valentine's Day is on a Thursday. So it's like, if you're getting off work, you have 30 minutes, let's go. Like I wanted it to be quick and easy for those or people who have kids, you know. So I hope you guys like this look. Um, if you want to see how I got this, please keep watching and I'll see y'all next time. So since today's makeup is not that complicated or hard or long to do, I figured I would just do a talk through one. So let me know how y'all feel about talk through videos like this or would you rather me just continue to do voiceover videos. So since this is going to be very simplistic, we're going to be using a lot of cream based materials on my face. Um, so I have very dry skin, so I'm just going to try to make sure I use very liquidy, illuminating primers. So um, I'm going to be using the Magic Lumi L'Oreal Light Infuser Primer. It looks white, but it just really brings a nice glow to your face. Like I said, we are going to be using a lot of cream product on our face. So the more glow and less cakey, matty grossness it looks, the better. All right. Now that that is done, we are going to go into eyeshadow. Um, so I'm going to be using the Naked Cherry palette again just because it's new to me and I haven't really done a lot with it. So I'm sorry if you're like, ew, why? But that's why. Um, so I'm going to be using the shade Juicy, this one right here. It's like a peach shade almost, and I really like it. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and do that. And you'll notice I didn't put any um, primer on my eye or like base eyeshadow because I'm just trying to do this like if you were getting really quick and like, wow, if you're getting ready really quickly on a date like for a date you know you ain't got time for all that primer you ain't got time to do concealer on your eyeball and a base eyeshadow like mm -mm. no one has time for that so we're not going to do that and when i say simplistic i don't mean that this is going to be a completely like you look natural just better look it's it's not <laughs> but it is easy to do and it's not crazy dramatic at least i don't think so if you do i'm sorry we just have different standards of dramatic. That is all. So we're going to take that shade into the crease like this. Just blend it up like so. Just make sure both sides are even. And that will do it for the shade Juicy. And I'm bringing that up like almost to my brow bone. I have an extreme amount of of space between my um eyeball and eyebrows like I have a lot I got a lot of lid room going on guys too much lid room I mean not that I care I just I have a lot of space to play with so it's nice when I do makeup but it's also like obviously don't go up to your eyebrow if you don't have as much lid space as me so then what we're going to do for our base is we're going into the Stila. Um, they're like the little holographic glitter ones. 
and the one that we're going to use is peach pretense so it looks white but it'll pull a little bit more peachy on your skin which is kind of cool so like i said like the tube that's not just my lighting the tube is literally white but then you see when it goes on it turns like this peaky pinky peachy color and we're literally just gonna put this all over our lid all over the lid I'm so sorry I'm so obnoxious and I sing like every five seconds I apologize <laughs> So obviously if you want it to be less dramatic, you don't have to put as many um, layers as I did. I also put a little on with my finger just to make it a little bit more pigmented. But what I love about this is that in some, like when you look at someone from a certain angle, like certain spots will look white almost, but then it has like that pinky sheen to it. I think it's really cool. And if you're a person who really likes, um, sorry, I'm trying to fix my light. If you're a person who really likes glitter, but you hate how glitter feels on your eyes, these Stila like liquid eyeshadows are so amazing. They feel like nothing is on your eye. They really do. They feel so lightweight and like you could just put just that on without any other shadow with it and it would be so pretty and like that could be your whole makeup look and that would be it. I just wanted to add a little bit more depth to my eyeballs since I have such giant eyeballs and I have so much space to play with. Why not? So really quick now that that's on, I'm just going to quickly go back into that shade um, Juicy and just kind of blend that line out a little bit <coughs> sorry this is again just to create a little bit more depth on my eye and the shade the Stila shade says it is peach like peachy but it pulls really pink which is fine but since this is a very peach shade I wanted to just make sure we have that to emphasize we're bringing out the peach undertones in the the thing the thing the thing then what we're gonna do is take um an elf eyeshadow brush but it's like a little highlighter eyeshadow brush and we're gonna go into the shade hot spot right here and we're just gonna highlight that brow bone and i always like to use like a really flat stiff brush like this to get like a smaller line but then I take my finger but and make sure your fingers clean before you do this obviously like as in has no eyeshadow on it already and I like to blend it out with my finger so I'm sorry if it looks like I'm flicking you off I'm not I'm just blending out my eyeshadow because we don't need any harsh lines like I've said a thousand times, the main key to doing your makeup, oh my god, why is my light so terrible? The main key to doing your makeup and making it like look really good is just blending. Blending. Blending everything out. All right. So that is done. Then we are going to take like I said I apologize for singing all the time it's just my nature I'm gonna take a small I'm cleaning it on my arm right now <laughs> I'm gonna take a small um it is a elf god the letters are worn down on this eye brush it's just an elf eye brush and it's angled it's like an angled eye brush and we're just going to go into that shade Juicy again and bring it right under our eyeballs. Y'all can probably hear the rain from outside too. I apologize for that. The I can't control the weather. Okay. 
So that's on underneath. Then for our, that's it. That's that's it for the eyes besides putting on mascara, but we'll do that towards the end. Um, so then for my face, like I said, I have very kind of, my skin pool's really dry. So I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Hydro Boost Drops um, as a, another primer, which may seem like a lot, but like I said, we're going to be using cream products and I just want my skin to not be so dry and since it's still cold ish like the weather in Georgia never makes up its mind so it's been hot but then it's been cold I need to give my skin moisture so that's what we're doing right now and again if you want really glowy looking skin when you put on foundation even if it's like liquid foundation using hydro boost drops always helps our oil always helps all right and so then for our foundation like for our face i'm gonna keep it really simple i'm not saying this is natural obviously the most natural would be not wearing any makeup at all but and obviously if you're contouring it's not completely natural but compared to what i do when i'm being dramatic and wearing a full face like going clubbing or like fancy places this is very light and more natural for me all right so i'm gonna take the matchsticks from fenty beauty this one's in the shade bamboo this is actually pretty similar to the foundation i use so that's one reason why we're just gonna go ahead and use it it looks very yellow but i promise the rest of my skin is this yellow um and i'm just gonna put it in these little spots because this is where you want your highlight to go and so I'm pretty much going to do it like we're contouring, but instead of contouring because we don't have on foundation, we're going to blend all this out into our foundation. Like as in, it's going to be our foundation. Okay, so we did the bamboo. Now we're going to go in with mocha to warm up our face when we blend everything out. And if you want, you can just put like a very faint line down there. Woo, and then all we gotta do for this is blend. Right here where my nose gets a little bit more rub. Where you see like blemishes are still showing. Just take that and you can always blend it in with your finger if you don't have a sponge or you don't want to grab your sponge again because you put it away like I did. But yeah, you see like it's really not very dramatic of a contour when you blend it all in like that. And you know, normally you could do this over your foundation not normally i do it over my foundation if i'm wanting a more dramatic look but when i want it to be kind of more natural this is what i do and since it's supposed to be a more simplistic look that's what i'm gonna do and we'll just leave it at that um so all i do next for my face if i'm doing a really simple look like this is i just take some setting powder um just because we need to set the <laughs> the cream so it doesn't come off everywhere especially if you're going on a date you don't want it to come off on your man's your man's shirt you don't want to leave your face everywhere because that's embarrassing and also just like 
then your face isn't on your face and who wants to walk around with no makeup on if you spent time putting it on um so i just take a big fluffy brush and put it all over and as you can tell we're not going to actually bake it because this is going to be really like i said it's a light look so we're not trying to make it super dramatic that we contoured our face we want it to look like this is fairly natural for our face even though, you know, there's makeup on it, but it's not crazy tons of makeup. Just make sure as you're just kind of like dusting your face lightly with the powder that you get everywhere that you put like the sticks on. You want to make sure you get everywhere you put the sticks on and make sure you focus on areas that tend to crease or get like a little bit more, um, oily throughout the day so like for me I don't really get super oily spots because like I said my skin is so dry and it's winter so it's not gonna get super oily but like right here on my nose needs a little extra attention sometimes I get sweaty so my lip gets gross <laughs> and then I always really make sure I get under my eyes a so your shadow doesn't really move anymore and B so um, it looks more bright so yeah that's all <laughs> we're doing for the face for contouring foundation all that jazz wise so woohoo um, then for blush I'm gonna take the get laid and it's you can't see it from there but it's spelled l-e-i-d so <laughs> laid <laughs> um this is the the shade that that is most similar to my mac um simpsons one <laughs> and i absolutely love it so there you go and it's really creamy you can use a brush with it or you can use your fingers however you prefer i just like using a blush a brush a blush brush because i'm lazy but it's really creamy and it goes on super lightweight as you can see and it's really just smooth and like it just feels so soft on your skin so I absolutely love this and like y'all know how much I use <laughs> if you watch my channel at all I use the max uh, the Mac Simpsons collection blush like every day literally that's my go-to blush and so one day when it goes like when I hit pan I should have bought two I didn't think I would like it as much as I did but when that goes away I'm gonna be very sad so this is a good replacement for it so if it ever gets destroyed I'll be fine all right so now we got on some blush and yes it's a little bit much but we're also going to put on highlighter and we don't have a mascara on our lips. So sometimes I feel like people are afraid of blush. They feel like it makes them look like a clown. Um, but the thing is, is that when you put on blush without having your mascara and like your lips on, yeah, it does make you look like a clown, kind of. But that's fine because once you put everything else on, it all comes together. Because there are times where it's like, I won't put on as much blush because I feel like, oh my gosh, that's really dramatic. And I'll take my powder brush and go over it so it blends out better. And then by the time I put on mascara and lips, I'm like, oh, my face looks super pale. Like, where's all the color on my face? It's gone. Um, so yeah, so there's a little tip for you. Always wait until you put on mascara and lipstick before you take your blush off. So for highlighter, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy. Amrezy? Amrezy? However her highlighter it's just a really pretty gold but it's not a bronzy gold so it works even if you are pale which I am so pale right now I'm so sorry for always using my middle finger for things I just don't think about the fact that I'm literally flipping you guys the bird it's not an intentional bird flip though so I feel like uh, the intent should go into whether it's a bird flip or not just saying um, and then I'm going to take my little teeny tiny, teeny tiny little brush to highlight my inner corners. Like, if I had to pick two things, if I was to wear makeup, the one thing that makes me feel so uncomfortable to leave the house if I haven't done, I can go without lipstick. I know people feel like I might not be able to because I always overline my lips. I can. 
I could not go without my little inner corner highlight. I've done it before and it makes me feel so weird. Like I'm not me for the whole day. And it's only when, like, obviously I don't wear it when I don't have on makeup. But like, if my makeup is done and I don't have inner corner highlight on, something is wrong. So if you ever see me in person and I don't have an inner corner highlight, I must be sick or like was in the biggest rush of my life because I always have it. Always. Always. And then we're just going to put some highlighter on our cheeks because why not just make everything glow? Why not? Oh my gosh. I absolutely love this makeup look now that I got mascara on. Like, So finally for lips, I'm going to use the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip. It's a liquid lipstick in Doozy. look and I will be doing a more dramatic Valentine's Day look tomorrow and hopefully that'll go up tomorrow night. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Love you. Bye.